Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard and other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. today and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Ah, there's nothing like having a day off, especially on a day like this. No one understands me like you do. Let's tell her now. I can't wait any longer. You scrumptious Trade goods! Stop available! Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweet guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face. F Maybe later, but howie, before I eat them myself, remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Get your miscellaneous items here. Keep out of trouble, young man, and I won't have to arrest you. Oh, 
very lucky. They're lucky to have such a nice family, you know. There he goes again. Isn't Oakvale a beautiful place? Stop available! Stop available! Ah, there's nothing like having a day off. Mind especially on a day like this. Nice family, there you go. I wish the tavern opened a bit earlier. I'm dying for a point. Honestly, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm going to turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Wait till I get my hand. Oh, you're a good fellow. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's in... Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Fine. Have your stupid good deed, then. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Want. I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. Now he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. I want more pocket money next week. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Have you clear? 
clean my mum's car for me? What is it? You're as bad as my crybaby little sister. You stupid little idiot. What is it? You're as bad as my crybaby little sister. I want more pocket money next week. Get him off, Mr. Goes around the town. What you looks. What is? 